Kurds. And we help them, don't forget, we help the Kurds. Everyone says the Kurds helped us, it's true. We help the Kurds. They're no angels. Trump says the U.S. didn't pledge to stick with the Kurds forever. Tamara Keith, NPR News. The president is also railing against the impeachment inquiry in the U.S. House, accusing Democrats of going after him because they're afraid of losing in 2020, he says. The House has been hearing from multiple administration officials in its investigation of Trump's July phone call with Ukraine, in which he pressed Ukraine to find dirt on his political rival, Joe Biden. Trump has acknowledged portions of a whistleblower complaint, but the president denies there was a quid pro quo. The political future of Israel and its Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, are now more uncertain now that Netanyahu is conceding that he is unable to form a coalition government. Netanyahu, head of the right-wing Likud party, was given the mandate of forming a new government in the wake of an inconclusive parliamentary election. He failed to win a clear majority that would have allowed him to extend his 10-year-long rule. Now the prime minister is returning that mandate to Israel's president, who is expected to look to Netanyahu's rival, centrist Benny Gantz, to try to form a coalition.